All right, so we are finally back, and this weekend's video is going to be strictly for drum nerds because I'm going to talk about my cymbal setup, various snares that I use, and my general drum kit for the Salt Project. So enjoy. All right, so the current drum set I'm using is a Tama Hyperdrive series. So what the series is known for is that they take a typical tom um, and they just about cut it in half. So the tom is really short. Uh, typically designed for fusion style drumming. Um, the version I got is this matte black. Um, matte black against this uh, black nickel hardware. Um, I'd looked for this for a while. I think they stopped making them um, in this colorway around uh, 2013 maybe. Um, and I found one in Germany for a pretty good price. So uh, tom sizes are pretty typical. Uh, there is a 10, 12, 14, and 16 inch tom. I'm currently using the 10 and the 14. So moving on to my cymbal setup. Uh, these are my current hi-hats. They're the Meinl Byzance dual 15 inches. Um, these are just on the cusp of getting switched out for the extra dry medium Byzance hat. Um, this is a pretty incredible and very addictive symbol. This is the of the same series, the Dual Trash Crash. This is a 20 inch. Um, I play that a lot. Uh, moving on to my ride here. This is also of the Byzant series. This is a 22 inch extra dry thin ride. Bought it uh, with the anticipation of playing it for jazz projects uh, and more of a fusion type feel. Um, this is also on the verge of being switched out for a little while for something a little heavier. Um, moving right here to the kit. This is a Byzance 20 inch traditional china. Um, this is on the verge of being switched out as well. Uh, funny enough for just and just now ordered a 22 inch um, Byzance jazz ride china which is pretty fascinating. It's uh, the same size as my ride and then it has rivets around the end. And I can't forget, in between the two, tucked down below here, uh, we have a Wuhan China stacked on a Dave Weckl-inspired Sabian HHX Ozone Crash, I believe. It's been a while since that sucker's been flipped over, but um, that's just a custom trash crash that I uh, switch out with a, a number, number of different options I have um, in the stock here. So, All right, so on to heads. The current heads I'm using... Um, are all Evans. I'm using a G2 top right now with uh, the EC Rezos on the bottom. Um, this is a pretty unorthodox choice, but I really like how much sound um, is absorbed with the ECs, so I can really control um, the tone and get exactly exactly the tone I want. And the G2s are just thin enough, um, so I get plenty of resonance considering I have a shorter tom I'm working with. Um, and then also thick enough where uh, I can hit pretty hard. And for my bass drum head, I of course use a Evans EMAD with their medium padding and two Evans patches. Um, the drum pedal I use is the Thomas Speed Cobra, and then the uh, EMAD Rezo. Out of the two main snares that I play, uh, this one's here is actually custom made for me by Dave Oliver's drum company called Turnworks. Dave drummed for Migraines and Grave Robbers, so there's a pretty wild uh, Rottweiler connection there. But this is a uh, 14 by 6.5 spalted maple snare um, with uh, copper rods and uh, a, a black, like a brushed black nickel with maybe some green... Um, tent and the uh, rims. So this is currently my main snare. This is a limited edition Tama Star Classic uh, 14 inch by 7 and uh, this was actually on neither of the first or second of the Salt Wreckers but this will be certainly on the third. So it's got a lot of character, um, obviously a lot of depth and um, Again, I use the uh, HD Genera Dry Evans head on that um, with a couple of those. Those blue patches are called Moon Gel. Um, I use a couple of those for deadening, controlling of sound. I like everything really dry and uh, typically pretty muffled. 
uh, with just enough ring to um, have the character of the snare, the individual character of the snare come out. Lastly, um, for anyone curious, I use the Vader uh, West Side drumstick. It's meant to mimic the Buddy Rich signature uh, Vic Firth stick, of which I love, um, with a little more weight. Um, and I think the wood's uh, certainly a little more dense, but um, I absolutely love Vader, but I've been using them for maybe 12 years now. So yeah, that's that.